Hello everybody, welcome back. And on the last episode, we had a bit of a, a wobble. But things have been going a lot better since. And fingers crossed, we can keep it up today. Welcome to the Sicilian Defence. Welcome to episode 15 of the Sicilian Defence. My name's Mark, and on today's episode, we have two games in Syria C. Group C, um, the Sicilian Derby against Palomo, and then a game against Juve Stabia, also in Syria C. And you will note, since you were last with us, there is the little wobble, uh, the 1 0 loss in the cup to Regina and then a 0-0 draw with Paganese in uh, the league. And then since then, uh, since you were with us, uh, we played Virtus Francaville, uh, where we won by two goals to one, goals from Pecorino and Rov Gallier. Um, one at 19 minutes, one at uh, just the other side of half time, And uh, that uh, gave us a win. Uh, and then a 2-0 win against Cantazaro, uh, Pecorino scoring twice in injury time. It uh, looked like it was going to be a 0-0 draw. Um, and then we did a bit of a switch around uh, towards the end of that game, uh, which uh, gave us the uh, the win. And, uh, well, that was uh, exceedingly good. The, uh, the next game against Potenza, well, that was a real topsy-turvy affair. Um, we will have a look at it. Uh, here we go. And as you will see, uh, we had a two-goal lead, a goal from Pecorino or from the penalty spot after 31 minutes. Rob Gallier making it 2-0 after 35 minutes. And then we did our usual 41 minutes. Capella getting a goal back for uh, Potenza. And then Jimenez, who seems to be our little bit of a, um, a baddie. Um, in our thing, he always scores against us. He's uh, scored after 43 minutes, making it 2 2 at half time. And then Pecorino puts us back in front after 59 minutes. Three minutes later, uh, Ragged Tuza um, scoring the equaliser, making it 3 3. And then 88 minutes, Pecorino scoring the goal, which gave us the win. We locked all the doors, shut all the windows, and made our way through. Uh, in that uh, particular game, uh, four goals to three. So a bit of a leaky defence in that one. But as you'll see, 17 shots, nine of which were on target. A 3.49 XG, 54% was uh, rather good, um, which left us with uh, a bit of a, a window, uh, a rest, a winter, winter rest or whatever uh, that they do here in Italy. And uh, we decided that we would... Um, play a friendly against Crotone, who are in Syria B, um, a like side um, in Syria B, and we beat them by three goals to nil. Goals coming from Pecorino, a hat-trick for him. He's scored a hat-trick in the previous game, so uh, he is really on form at the moment. Uh, what's that, two? That's six, seven, eight, nine goals in the last four games, um, and um, five three four five six in the league um so he's been doing extremely well and obviously scoring up here as well so i think he's on about 20 for the season so far so a very good game uh transfer wise uh there is a bit of activity going on as you will see but uh we go through to here um Guth came in in august uh nicolo fagale fagili that's uh, coming from juventus uh, he's on loan for the rest of the season. He is a central midfielder, can play in attacking midfield as well, uh, as well as de defensive midfield. Um, he's good as a regista there, a Mazala um, in that central midfield role and as attacking midfield or advanced playmaker or even an Engash, uh, which uh, could be interesting. We play that um, as a support role, uh, even as a tough twister um, in attack. So good overall across the, uh, across the field. He is... Um, 
I think he's under contract with Juventus until 2025. So don't think there's much chance of bringing him here on a permanent basis, but uh, uh, at least we've got him until the end of the season. Gives us a little bit of extra oomph in uh, that midfield. Nobody going out as yet, but there are a few uh, things going on. We do have uh, players being um, looked at. Manelli being one of them. Stefano Manelli uh, was originally at Brassica, um, and they are after him again. We've had spoken to him, and I've promised him that we will get promoted this season. If he don't, he'll be on his way. So uh, we'll need to see how we go. Um, and Marchigini, Marchigiani, um, he's off, basically. He's got uh, got the hump because we've not played him, um, and uh, he's on his way. Uh, Jokin, um, we've had him on loan, uh, well, on trial, um, played one game for us in the uh, friendly. Didn't have a particularly good game, but we have put in a, an offer for him. And the staff, Stefano, um, has had three offers for him, an end of contract going out. So that's all that's going on at the moment. Uh, I think it's high time that we got through to our first game of the episode, and it's the game against Palermo, the Sicilian friendly. We are at home for this one. Previous results are a bit of a mixed boat, really. We beat them in the last game at their place um, in August, um, but uh, last season we lost on both occasions, 2-1 and 3-2. So um, we're looking to uh, perhaps uh, improve ourselves on this one. Um, and get uh, get it so that uh, it's pretty equal that uh, one one and sorry one two and drawn and lost two. So we'll see how we go. Um, can we do the double over them this season? We need to if we are going to win uh, the league. And talking of the league, it's the only thing we haven't done, of course. Um, you will see we have gone top again after twenty games. Um, one fifteen drawn four, only lost one game. That game against uh, Potenza at the start of the season. Um, 31 goal difference, 49 points, one point in front of Salanitana, who drew a game. Uh, we won and uh, just got that nose in front of them. So uh, nothing less than a win today uh, because they are breathing down our necks. And you could rest assured, if we lose... We will uh, drop back down the table. Right, as I said, enough to do. Let's go through to the game against uh, Palomo, who are currently in fourth on 40 points. And here is the team that we are putting out against Palomo. Santoro is in goal. Um, he has been re-registered, um, but also um, Manelli is injured He's going to be out for five to six weeks. Um, he hurt himself in training, so he's out of the equation. And uh, with the other goalkeeper now on, pretty much going to be going in the transfer window, we have Maggioni uh, as our uh, backup goalkeeper as it currently stands. Um, he is uh, there, of course, um, 19 years old. So hopefully we won't need to use him, but he is there as a backup for now, so Santoro in goal, Visconti, Clayton, Silvestri, and Albertini are our defensive row. Fagale and De Paula are our central midfield, and I'm thinking he has played in the Mazzala role just recently as Fagale. So we're going to put him in there, and we'll make. We'll just basically do a swap around of those two. De Paula can become the advanced playmaker. And we'll make him advanced playmaker on support. Uh, Menar and Golfo are, are attacking uh, a midfield. And then Pecorino and Ravgalier are up front. They are the ones that are doing the business. Pecorino especially at the moment. As mentioned, Magoni uh, is our substitute goalkeeper. And then Pinto, Lori. Comi, Guth, Pekar, Gatto, Calpai, Rizzo, Maserani, Pellegrini, and the Alio are the rest of the bench. Squad number for Fagale, because um, he hasn't got a number up to now. Number 38 he will become in his first full match for us. And... Uh, 
hopefully will do the business in that midfield role. Seems to be doing an awful long time getting through to quite sure what it's doing. Here we go. Uh, the obligatory team sheet. We do have a tunnel talk. This is on the telly, as you would expect. Um, right. Pump fists. We are favourites for a reason. Go out there and make sure they know why. That's not really done the business, is it, Patro? We need to motivate a few of these players here. Right, that's done that. Tunnel talk then. Uh, best weather. It's not the best weather for that. How do you think your conditions? Any condition, a little bit of weather isn't going to affect us. Uh, it's Derby Day. How much do you look forward to taking on your local rivals? Personally, always look forward to this one. It's a real buzz around the training ground all week. And there we are. Lost one of our last five. Lost and a draw. Won the last three. Palomo. They've drawn two, lost one, and won two. As you'll see, sit top, Palomo in fourth place. Need to win this game to hang on to that top spot. And we are underway. Palomo with the early... Skirmishes. De Paolo's won that in midfield. Get it back to Silvestri. Silvestri to De Paolo. De Paolo now sweeps the ball in and Pecorino hitting the woodwork and then puts it straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. On the second attempt, Palomo moving the ball around nicely. Hopefully would have won that continuity and well tackled. Who was that man? It was Visconti who put the ball behind for a corner. Last ditch tackle. Headed clear, but only as far as Canduti. And that's right under the crossbar and over the top. And we've survived that little bit of onslaught. Golfo picked up another yellow card and De Paula is injured. We seem to have a little bit of a injury crisis going on at the moment. And Manuel Lori going to come on for De Paula. Not what we wanted. Let's say having that little bit of troublesome Visconti to Lorry, back out to Visconti. Visconti comes forward. He's just into the penalty area, tucks it back for Fagalo, but didn't quite get it there. And they've cut it out and they come forward again. Late, uh, nearly a late tackle there. And they're pushing it about nicely, keeping them under pressure. And, oh, Santoro, I think, had that covered and it hit the outside of the post. In the end, Visconti with a long throw into the penalty area. Pecorino not getting to it. And Palomo come away again. But Albertini gets that one forward. Ralph Gallia brings it down nicely. Mena hits the crossbar uh, with the goalkeeper beaten. And we somehow don't seem to be managing to get the bit. Oh, Canuti. Lovely ball across to Canuti, who was in space. Nobody marking him. And Palomo, after 37 minutes, go into the lead. Has to be a question of whether he was offside there. Probably not when the ball was crossed, and we're not going to see whether it was or not. We have a free kick now. 
Visconti with the free kick into the area and it's headed down. Penalty. Marconi will get sent off here and Canuti has come off. And Ivan Marconi has been sent off for a second yellow card. Pecorino puts it away in that corner. It is 1 1. And probably only what we deserve, really, having hit the woodwork numerous times. 22nd goal of the season from Pecorino. And he's delivered that right in the corner. Goalkeeper not getting anywhere near it. And uh, they are down to 10 men. So we need to be looking to turn up the gas as well. So half time comes. Six uh, shots, three on target. 1.41 xg 53 percent of the possession against their seven shots three on target 1.61 so slightly better than us on xg but uh it's an even match at one one go through to talk to the team we'll be right back with the second half and here you are back for the second half and the game underway uh very shortly we have the kickoff Rav Garlier, I think, will take the kickoff. He has to Laurie, to Mena. No changes for us at half time. And the ball goes out of play on that far side. Visconti comes across to make the throw in. We're not going to see that. Not much doing so far in the second half. We have a throw in on this near side. Albertini to Rav Garlier. Rav Garlier loses the ball, uh, but Silvestri tidies up Mena as it in central but he's been tackled and Luis dispossessed De Marcheni we've got to watch him he's going to have a long shot and that was a bit wild what we can do with that 60 odd minutes gone now Albertini with the throw into Golfo Golfo crosses it in and Pecorino goalkeeper pushes it I think up into the air and uh, that surely should have been a goal our second goal of the game and highlight with Palomo. Long shot and Santoro pushes it over the top. Valente and misses everybody. Silvestri is going to tidy up. Albertini and clearance has been made. Right, well, it's probably time. For us to have a look at changes and see what's happening in the world of Golfo having a better second half. Rav Garlier really doing a great deal. Is it time to bring on Comi for Rav Garlier? I think so. And who else? Visconti. Not having the best of games back there in defence. Flagelai isn't having... He's got a seven. He's the best player on the pitch at the moment. I am tempted to swap them over just to make see what difference that makes. Um, we're going to take Golfo off for Maserani. We're going to, all the changes we're going to make for the moment. But we will do tactical changes while we're at it. So what we're going to do is swap these two over. And we're going to make... Him and Mazala on attack, and we're going to make him a ball winning midfielder on support. Mazarani is best as an advanced, as a winger rather, on attack. Mena again. Winger on attack on that side. Comi, he's best as a pressing forward on support. Pecorino will stay as he's advanced position. That's the changes made then. And go out there and make a difference for us. Both of them up for, for this one. And Game underway. Really 
should be beating them. Right, do we open this up? We've got 10 minutes to go. I'm tempted to go attacking. Danger is... Or do we go the other way and go... Men are not having a good game on that left side. Maybe it's time to bring somebody on for him. Piccolo had one game and was injured. Um... bring Pekar on. Pekar is best as an inverted winger. We'll put him as, we should put him as inside forward. Inside forward, on attack. Question being is, do we leave it at positive? Let's leave it at positive. Confirm changes and We'll continue with that. Visconti to Pekka. Pekka. First time we've seen him. Can he get a cross in? No. He's tackled or dispossessed. Visconti keeping that ball in nicely. Clayton to Visconti. Back to Clayton. Clayton through. Finds Pekka. Pekka to Laurie. Laurie has a shot and it's blocked. But he's managed to pick it back up again. Silvestri out wide to Albertini. Maserani. Albertini now. Back to Fagale. Ooh, Pecorino. Got on the end of that, but just over the top. And Fagale is tired now. And it looks like we're going to have to make that change. Fagale for Rizzo. And Rizzo can stay in that Mazala role. And it looks as it stands as if it's going to be a draw. And it is a 1-1 draw. Probably not the best of results. Bearing in mind, they were down to 10 men after 40 minutes. And uh, we should really have secured that win. Hands on hips, simply put. That wasn't good enough. And a uh, bit of a disappointment, that one. Uh, it's a great time score. That's Kenton and lad. Da -da, it's no longer there. Are. So, just those two points. If Salonatana win, they will overtake us. And we will drop back down in second place, which isn't good news. Paolo is injured. He's going to be out for, and there you see, fractured ribs. That's not good, is it? We'll send him to the doctors. And as you'll see from, where are we? Medical centre. Not building up. Masso out for four to five weeks. De Paola out for three to four. Piccolo three to five weeks. Minelli out for three weeks. Uh, Mattia. Uh, he's got flu, will be out for six days. But Masso, De Paola, Piccolo and Minelli are all on the injured list at the minute. We can afford no more as it currently stands. So that is where it is. Uh, we're going to come back for the second game of the episode against Juve Stabia and uh, see if we can at least get three points on the board. We'll come back very shortly for the results from the rest of the weekend. And you come back, those games have been played. As you'll see, we have dropped down to second place. That uh, uh, draw against Palomo will do us no good um, in the sense that uh, Salonatana have overtaken us. Uh, games uh, that were played on Sunday 
um, as you can see, uh, Vibonese um, drawing nil nil with Cavese, so no gain from that point of view, but uh, um, all things equal as we drawed, uh, drew and uh, they drew, uh, so no change really from that point of view. Uh, but right here at the top, this 2 0 win against Regina uh, by Salanatana puts them back on top, equal on the goal difference. Uh, they have lost two matches. Avellino and Casatana uh, are the two two games that they've lost, but they've won one game more than us, which is uh, where the difference is. So um, there we go. Uh, and that draw against us in kind of Catania, uh, as it was. So we are first up this weekend, coming weekend as well, against Juve Sabia. Um, and as you'll see, uh, they are in the mix on day two on the Sunday against Cosenza. So we'll see how this weekend progresses. So let's go through to our second game of the episode against Juve Stabia. And you come back with the team that faces Juve Stabia. And one big thing that has changed, the director of football sold from underneath us, Pecorino. He's left. He's gone to play in Syria. Uh, we have actually asked for him to come back on loan, which they've agreed to. Well, we're just waiting for him to agree to come back on loan. So hopefully he's uh, only gone missing momentarily, but uh, it could be momentarily, which gives us a bit of a problem in this game. But Santoro continues in goal. Visconti, Clayton, Silvestri and Albertini continue in our defensive line, as you see, building up quite a rapport. Uh, Fagale and Mattea in uh, midfield with Golfo and Maserani up uh, in attacking midfield. Rov Gallier takes up the role of Pecorino with Comi coming in as the deep lying forwards. Just going to check all is okay up front there. Rov Gallier, yeah, that's the best position for him. Uh, Mattea, yep, it's all looking pretty good. Um, in that anyway, and on the bench, Magoni, Pinto, Lori, Gatto, Guth, Pekar, Dialio, Calpai, Rizzo, Rositio, uh, Pellegrini and Mena are our bench for today. Let's go through to the match and see if we can get this win. Uh, again on television. Um, pump fist. We've been on a good run lately. Go out there and press me. No, we're going to do the media one. Individuals. Commie. Pump fist. Faith in you. Get out there and make a difference. Golfo. Likewise. Everybody else is motivated. Clayton. Get out there and make a difference. He's not really motivated. So, Tunnel Talk. Sell a promising youngster. This staff and know has questionably concern. Um, appreciate it's not a popular decision, but sometimes supporters must trust decisions made by the club. How confident are you ahead of kicking off a second in the league? A form table, I think we're in a good place right now. Uh, good times rolling. Juve Sabia won three of the last five. Won, uh, drawn one and lost one. And we've won three of our last five, drawing the other two. Palomo being the last game that we drew. And there we are, sitting, sitting in second place. We do uh, play the early game here today. And uh, the commentator is expecting us to win it, but uh, we've got to prove that. And without uh, Pecorino up front, could be a bit of a tall order. We'll see. Game's underway and not much doing early on. As we look for that outlet, Golfo picked up another yellow card. He's going to go for a ban at some point. Albertini back to Matea, crosses in, and I think it was Fagley that was uh, binned. Comey has the free kick. Sorry, the penalty, and he's missed it. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll check that at half time as to find out whether he's the best person to take penalties. A bit late in the day to decide that. They have a throw in. It's cut out by Flagley, but it's back in. Oh. And Santoro was clutching at the air there. Uh, 
as Juve come forward again. Mazzarani cuts that out, though. Comi to Flagale. Flagale comes forward. Nice burst of pace. Forward to Rav Gallier, who tucks it in, but it's disallowed. Rav Gallier must have been offside. Yep, there he is. Just, just uh, questionable, to be fair. But tucks it under the goalkeeper. As we come through to half time, we are not doing so well. This one, four shots, three on target, missing Pecorino. One point three six on the XG though, uh, against their eight and two, and uh, we've had probably the better of that first half, but really not converted it into a winning position. Let's hope we can do so in the second half. We'll be right back. And Comi gets the second half underway. Back to Clayton, to Santoro. Clayton, Santoro, Silvestri, Mattia, Flagale, forward for Maserani. And the highlight disappears. So no happenings there. As we progress forward, Golfo not having a good game. And... We might need to make that change. 60 minutes gone. No, we're not taking Silvestri off. Albertini with the throw in to Mattea. Mattea forward to Comi. Comi finds Albertini. Albertini. Going to cross that ball. And a headed goal by Flagale, who gets his first goal for us. And he's picked up a yellow card, I've noticed. Albertini, lovely ball into the area. And probably no more than we deserve, and met that a plum. And a good opportunity for us to make that final change. Well, not the final change, but that change. And we're going to bring Pekar on. Oh, no, hang on a minute. Undo that. Golfo, it's Menard down the bottom there, I think, isn't it? Or oh, Pekar. Let's bring Pekar on. Nobody else needs a change at this stage. No, we're going to stick with that. Pump fist, make a difference. Confirm substitute. Just giving us a slight edge here. I'm picking up a few yellow cards now. Matea is tired and needs to come off. Matea for Dialio. A throw in and Pekar clears it upfield to Rav Gallier. Rav Gallier comes forward. He's got options. Flagale, can he make it two? No, it's been blocked and uh, goes out for a corner kick. 88 minutes gone. Maserani with the corner. Whips the ball in and it's cleared, but Dialio will get there. Back to Vestri. Clayton, Visconti, finds Pekar, who fires a shot in and is cleared by the goalkeeper. Another corner, 89 minutes gone now, four minutes of injury time as well. Visconti to Maserani, Maserani back in and uh, it's offside when the ball was back in. But this time, Comi tried to get forward to Rav Galli. It didn't get it there. Silvestri brings it down to Maserani. Maserani to Dialio. Dialio forward to Maserani, who's run into space, and the goalkeeper makes another save. Oh, and a, a really pickling him at the minute. And um, saves coming in left, right, and centre. Visconti with this corner. First minute of injury time. Long ball right the way over the top, missing everybody, and it's gone out for a throw on that far side. Going to waste a bit of time here now. Flagolite 
He's tired. Laurie going to come on for him. Albertini. And we'll bring Pellegrini on for him. And I'm going to pump this. Tell him to go out there and do a good job. And that is game over. We've won that game by a goal to nil. And um, really in the ascendancy as well, as you can see from the XG, 3.38. Didn't live up to expectations, but I think we had that better at that second half. 16 shots, 10 on target, 58% uh, possession. And uh, that we will put down as a good win for us. Keeps the pressure up on Salanitana. How long do you think unbeaten run can last? It's really so it's fair. I think it's, uh, if you look for Fitch's current reform, good run can go on for a little while yet. Yeah. Is there a chance you're overconfidence and complacency could become an issue here? Uh, no. Uh, can you explain Ralph Gallia's bad day in front of goal? Uh, he actually played well. So back on top for the moment with Salah Tana to play. And uh, send the assistant to the post-match as we always do. And certainly their goalkeeper kept the minute. Could have been by a few goals that win. Uh, but we did manage it. And uh, here we go. Oh, no. I thought that was the other matches for the moment. Here they are coming. I think the game will be just behind us, probably, as it turns out. More transfer activity going on. Minelli, again, the object of their desires. We will reject that offer. So we don't really want to sell him. No sign of... No sign of what's it coming back yet. Do we have the results? We have the early results. And Salah Natana have drawn against Cosenza, which means we are one point in front of them again. We've won, they've lost, uh, sorry, they've drawn, and it's looking very, very interesting at the top there, isn't it? Right, we'll do one more continue, see if we can get the rest of the results in to see where we are, and then we will have a look and see what games we've got coming up. There we go, game's over now. Um, I think, no, everybody's played 22, so... There we are, top of the table at the end of the episode. 53 points uh, compared to Salantana's 52, uh, having drawn their game. Vibonese in uh, third with 48 points. Uh, really what we could do with doing now is winning the next few games and really putting the pressure on Salantana and trying to open a bit of a gap up there as well. So that's where we're at, and uh, we will come back um, for the next games uh, so we're going to play Vibonets, Messina and Regina offline we're going to come back for Cazenza and what really could be a six pointer against Salanatana in our next episode Cazenza and Salanatana at home in our next episode hope you've enjoyed today's episode if you have don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with all future episodes of this and new series as they are released new episodes of the sicilian defense are currently released every tuesday and friday at 4 15 pm and if you want to keep up to date with what's happening on this channel and more why not follow me on twitter at just offside two is where you need to be thank you for watching and i hope to see you for the next episode which will be episode 16 it'll be out on friday till then goodbye